Make your way into a seated position and close your eyes. Taking a couple of deep breaths, allowing yourself to arrive in the here and now. Today I'd love us to work with the goddess, the archetype Saraswati. Saraswati is what I like to call the muse of creation. She is the aspect of ourselves that gives us inspiration. So I'd love you to check in with your own breath, your own body, your own life. Where am I feeling inspired? Where in my life, in my breath, in my practice, would I like to create or bring more inspiration? And quite simply, we're going to sit here for a couple minutes and I just want you to breathe inspiration. And what I mean by that is with each inhale, draw in this life force, hold it for a couple of seconds, envision it blossoming inside of you like a flower. And then as you exhale, let it go. As you inhale, breathe in this life force. Hold the breath for a couple of seconds. Envision it blossoming inside of you. And then exhale and let it go. And just do that a couple more times at your own pace. I have the ability to create I can draw inspiration from this breath. Opening your eyes, take your arms out to the sides and inhale, reach your arms forward and up. And as you exhale, allow your arms to blossom out to the sides and down. Take your hands behind you and inhale, reach the arms forward and up, lift the torso up. As you exhale, take the arms out to the sides and down. Inhale, gently round the spine, slide your hands forward and up, lifting the torso up. Exhale, arms out to the sides and down. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. And exhale, open out, blossom out to the side. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, out to the sides and down. Opening the eyes, if they're not already there, take your right fingers off to the right. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, over to the right. And then as you exhale, take your left arm forward and over to the left. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over to the left, sideways stretch. And as you exhale, take your right fingers forward towards the front of your mat, over towards the right. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over to the right. Reach your left fingers forward, out and over to the left. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over towards the left. Soft bend into the left elbow. And as you exhale, this time come upright with your torso, hands on either side of your pelvis. Draw your shoulders onto your back and then inhale, lift the chest up, arc the upper spine. Stay here as you exhale. 
Inhale now, round the spine, chin in towards the chest, softly bend the elbows, look towards your own belly button. And then as you exhale, arc the spine and lift the chest again. So funny variation of cat-cow. Inhale, round the spine, puff up the back body with your breath. Exhale, lift the chest up, arc the upper spine. Inhale, round. Exhale, come back to a neutral spine. Come forward onto hands and knees. Splay your fingers out wide and we'll take Sufi grinds. Take your hands a little further forward from your shoulders and begin to draw circles with your pelvis in one direction. Add your breath to what you're doing. So maybe you're inhaling to one side, exhaling to the other, or inhaling forward, exhaling back. Go ahead and take those circles in the opposite direction. Come on back to center and walk your hands a little further forward, making your way into downward dog, curling your toes under and lifting your hips up to the sky. Splay your fingers out wide, clawing the mouth, your finger pads, and then tilt your booty up towards the sky. Shimmy both your heels over towards the left, pressing your right palm into the ground. Lengthen the right side waist, breathing into the right side. And then take both your heels over to the right, bending both your knees, tilt your booty up towards the sky, lengthening the left side waist. Come on back to center and slowly begin to walk your feet forward, come to the front of your mat, come into Uttanasana. Feet hip width or big toes touching, I leave that to you. Just be mindful of how you place your feet and then either just arms dangling or ragdoll, grab opposite elbows. Deepen your breath. Releasing your hands, if you've got ragdoll, bend your knees, chin into your chest, and slowly roll yourself up to stand. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale and circle the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bow, swan dive down, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Lower the right knee down to the earth. Inhale and sweep the arms overhead, low lunge. As you exhale, take your left arm down, take your left hand to your left hip, inhale, reach your right fingers up, and then as you exhale, take your right fingers over to the left, lengthening the right side waist. Keep pressing your front heel down into the ground, feel how that activates the hamstrings of the front leg, and then gently hug the belly button in and up. Inhale, come upright with your torso, and as you exhale, take your right hand to your outer right hip, left arm up to the sky. Inhale, lift up through the left fingers, and then exhale, take your left fingers over to the right. You can stay as you are, or right hand can come to a block, or right hand comes down to the ground. The lower your right hand is, the more intense this can be on your lower back, so just be mindful of your own back. Same idea, breathe deep into the left side waist. Keep rolling your chest open towards the left thigh. Use your core, inhale, come upright with your torso, reach your arms overhead. 
And exhale, hands down on the inside of your front foot. Scoot your left foot out to the left and then straighten your back leg. Inhale, reach your chest forward. And then as you exhale, pivot both your feet towards the right, Skandasana. Bend your right knee, keeping your left leg straight. Walk your hands towards your right foot and then right finger stay on the ground, left arm goes up to the sky. So it looks like a funny variation of side angle pose with all 10 toes going towards the right side of your mat. And then again, roll your chest open towards your left leg. Next time you exhale, hands on either side of your right foot, which is your back foot, pivot yourself towards the back of your mat. Lower your left knee down to the ground and inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, take your right hand to your outer right hip, lift your left fingers up a little bit higher, and then take your left fingers over towards the right, lengthening the left side waist. Keep pressing your right heel down into the ground, activating your right hamstrings. And slowly come up and bring your left hand down to your outer left hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. And then exhale, take your right fingers over towards the left, now lengthening the right side waist. You can stay as you are. Left hand can come to a block or left hand down to the ground, essentially directly out from your outer left hip. And then right fingers over to the left. Inhale, use your core, come upright with your torso, reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, take your hands down by your front foot, straighten your back leg. Plant your palms and step back, plank pose, upward push-up position. Take a deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, lower your knees, your chest, your chin, eight-pointed pose. Straighten your legs out behind you and inhale, cobra, press all ten toes and lift the chest. And as you exhale, curling your toes under, lift your hips up to the sky, down dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. High lunge, inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, hug inner thighs towards each other. Exhale, step to the front of the mat, interlace your fingers behind you and bow, standing forward fold. Release the hands and inhale, stand up, Urdhva Hastasana, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. What does inspiration feel like in my breath, in my body? Releasing the hands, opening the eyes, inhale, sweep the arms overhead or dvahastasana. And then exhale and bow, standing forward, fold, uttanasana. Inhale, ardha uttanasana, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Lower the knee down to the earth and inhale, reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, bend both your elbows and hold on to both your elbows with both your hands. Inhale, lift the elbows up and exhale, take your elbows over towards the left. Inhale, come upright with your torso, hug the inner thighs towards each other and then exhale, take your elbows over to the right. Keep gently hugging the belly button in and up, lengthening the lower back. And then come upright with your torso, inhale, arms overhead, then exhale, hands the inside of the front leg. Straighten your back leg, pivot both your feet towards the right, and then you're going to keep your left knee bent, left fingers on the ground, inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, so opening your chest towards your right leg. See if you can bend into your left knee so that your pelvis is at the same plane as your left knee. 
And then hands come down, walk your hands over towards your right foot, pivot yourself towards that side of the mat, lower your left knee to the ground, inhale, reach the arms overhead, then exhale, bend your elbows and hold on to your elbows with your hands. Inhale, lift the elbows up and exhale, take your elbows over towards the right. Breathe into the whole left side. Come back to center, inhale, lift, and exhale over towards the left, breathing into the right side waist. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hands down by the front foot, straighten your back leg. Plant your palms and step back, plank pose, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down to the ground, booty stays high. Straighten your legs out behind you and inhale, cobra pose, lift your beautiful heart. And exhale, downward dog, take your hips up to the sky behind you. Inhale, left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, high lunge. And exhale, step to the front of the mat and bow. Interlace your fingers behind you, standing forward fold. Release the hands and inhale, stand up, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart, Tadasana. Can I draw inspiration from this breath? Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen into a flat back, offer your chest forward, and exhale, step your left foot back into a lunge. Keep your knee up off the ground and inhale, sweep the arms overhead, high lunge. And as you exhale, take your right hand to your right hip and reach your left fingers over to the right. Inhale, come on back up to center. Exhale, left arm down, right fingers over towards the left. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, right fingers down, left fingers over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left arm down, right fingers over to the left. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, hands down by the front foot. Pivot both your feet to the left, and again, walk over to your left foot. Bend your left knee, left fingers on the ground, and inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, opening your chest towards the right. Stay as you are, or we're coming down into full skandhasana, bending your left knee, bring your hips behind your left heel, left fingers go towards the back of your mat, inhale, right arm up to the sky, right toes go up to the sky. If this feels like too much, stay up higher, especially if you've got any knee stuff going on. Right hand comes down, pivot yourself towards the back of your mat, bending into your left knee, right knee stays up off the ground, and let's come up into high lunge. Left arm comes down, left hand to hip. Inhale, reach your right fingers up. Take it over towards the left. And then as you exhale, come back to center, both arms up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right arm comes down, left fingers over to the right. Inhale, back up, arms up. Exhale, left fingers down to the left, right fingers over to the left. Inhale, back up, arms up. Exhale, right arm down, left fingers over to the right. Inhale, back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down by the front foot. Plant your palms and step back, plank pose, upward push-up. And exhale, lower halfway or all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky behind you, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, high lunge. And as you exhale, take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, left arm stays up. Inhale, back to center, reach the arms overhead, and exhale, twist towards the left, right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and twist. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale and twist, right elbow to the outside, the left leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step to the front of the mat and bow. Interlace your fingers behind you, standing forward fold. Release your hands and inhale, come on up to stand, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart, Tadasana. Where in my life can I draw inspiration from? Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen into a flat back. Offer your chest forward. As you exhale, step your left foot back into a lunge. Knee stays off the ground and inhale, sweep the arms overhead. High lunge. As you exhale, bend your left knee. Right fingers out to the right, left arm over. Inhale, back to center, straighten the back leg. Exhale, bend the back knee, left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale, back to center, straighten the back leg. Exhale, right fingers down, left fingers over to the right. Inhale, back to center, straighten the back leg. Exhale, bend the back knee, sway over towards the left. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, hands down by the front foot. Pivot both your feet towards the left. And then from here, keeping your right fingers on the ground by your right foot, inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Stay as you are or full skandhasana. Bend deeper into your right knee and bring your hips down behind your right heel and lift your left toes up off the ground. Right hand stays down, left arm goes up to the sky. Open your chest towards your left leg. Left hand comes down and go ahead and walk your hands over towards your left foot. Pivot yourself towards that side of the mat, taking your back heel up off the ground. And then inhale and reach your arms overhead, high lunge. As you exhale, bend your back knee, left fingers down, right fingers over to the left. Inhale, straighten your back leg, arms up. Exhale, right arm down by the side, left arm over, left ear. Inhale, back to center, arms up, straighten your back leg. Exhale, bend your back knee, left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the right, bending the right knee. Inhale, back to center, arms overhead. And exhale, hands down by the front foot and step back into plank pose, upward push-up position. Take a deep breath in plank. And as you exhale, lower halfway or all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog, hips up to the sky behind you. Inhale, right leg goes up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, high lunge. And as you exhale, take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee, right arm stays up to the sky. So it's one breath, one movement. Inhale, back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, twist towards the right, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step to the front of the mat and bow. Interlace your fingers behind you, standing forward fold. Release your hands and inhale, come on up to stand, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart.
Take your hands to your outer hips. Connect to a gaze point on the ground out in front of you. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bring your right knee in towards the chest and then wrap your right arm around your right shin, hugging your right knee by your right armpit. Press your bottom heel, your left heel down and lift the chest up. From here, hinge from your hip crease and reach the top of the head forward. Take your right knee gently out towards the right. Extend your right leg out behind you. Sparkle out through your toes. And then gently bend into your standing leg and step your right foot back into warrior two. Cartwheel your arms out into a T-shape and bend quite deeply into your front knee, pressing the outer edge of your back foot into the ground. As you inhale, straighten your front leg, slide your right hand down your right thigh, left fingertips go up to the sky and out towards the back of your mat. And then as you exhale, triangle pose, hinge from your hip crease and begin to reach your left fingers forward and down, left hand down, right arm up. Feel free to put a prop underneath your bottom hand. Lift your pubic bone gently towards your belly button and roll your chest open to the right and up to the sky. Stay as you are or top arm over top ear towards the front of your mat, extended triangle pose, palm faces down. Squeeze your heels towards each other. Next time you inhale, come upright with your torso, bend into your front knee, and then as you exhale, modified side angle pose, left forearm on top of left thigh, right hand to right hip. Press your back heel into the ground, lengthen your chest forward, and then from here, reach your top arm, your right arm directly up to the sky, or right arm over right ear, extended side angle pose. Externally rotate your upper right arm, drawing the shoulder blade just gently away from the ear, and then reach up through your fingertips so you deepen the sideways stretch on the right. Right hand comes down to the inside of your leg. Take both your hands the inside of your front foot and then pivot both your feet to the right. Walk your hands over to your right foot, bend your right knee, skandasana, same variation you did before, either up high or low, depending upon how this checks out on your knee, and then reach your left arm up to the sky. Stay as you are. We're going to half bind, bend your left elbow, and take your left hand by your right hip or on top of your thigh. And then either stay here or full bind, either wrap the right arm around the right shin if you're down low, or take your right arm underneath your right leg, find your left fingertips if your hips are up high, if your right thigh is parallel to the ground. And then wherever you are, keep rolling your chest open towards the left leg. From here, fingertips come down to the ground. You're going to sit your butt down on the ground. Bring your right sole of foot to the inside of the left thigh. Take your left hand to your outer right thigh and inhale, lift your right fingers up. And then take your right fingers over to the left. Other variation of this, if you want to try it, is put your right sole of the foot on the ground, grab a hold of your right ankle with your left hand, and then take your right arm up and over and try to grab a hold of your left foot with your right hand. Whichever variation you're in, come upright. Right sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Take your right hand behind you by your bum and then inhale, lift your bum up and reach your left arm up and over. Bum comes down. Turn and face towards the front of your mat. Bring your right leg to meet your left one. Incline plane. Take your hands behind you. Fingertips face towards your own bum. And you can either keep the legs straight or bend your knees, tabletop. Press your feet into the ground. Lift your hips up off the ground. Straight legs or bent knees. I'll leave that to you. And then wherever you are, lift your booty up. You can look towards your knees, up towards the sky or towards the back of your own mat. And then breathe deep into the front body. Bum comes down to the ground. Cross your ankles over, take your hands down to the earth, and then see if you can lift your bum up off the ground, keep your feet up off the ground. I can never do it, but you might be able to. <laughs> bum comes back down to the ground, take your hands out in front of you and step back into plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, hips up to the sky behind you.
Next time you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop lightly to the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen your chest forward, and then exhale, bow, standing forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, sweep the arms overhead, and exhale, hands move through prayer in front of the heart center. Either keep them there, release your arms down by your sides. Take your hands to your outer hips, shift your weight into your right foot, bring your left knee in towards the chest, and then wrap your left arm around your left shin, hugging it in. Take your left knee gently out to the left, and with your right hand and right hip, hinge from the hip crease, and bring your head forward and down, torso come parallel to the ground, left knee out to the left. Release your left leg, extend it out behind you, sparkle out through your left toes, and then bend your standing leg, your right leg, and step your left foot back, warrior two. Open your arms out into a T-shape and work your front thigh towards parallel to the ground. Straightening your right leg, bring your left hand down your left thigh, reach your right fingertips up and sweetly back towards the back of the mat. Come upright with your torso, triangle pose, reach your right fingers forward and down, right hand to a shin, a block of the earth, left arm up to the sky. Press your back heel into the ground, lengthen your chest forward and then roll your chest open to the left and up. Stay as you are or extended triangle pose. Take your top arm over your top ear towards the front of your mat. Palm faces down. Lengthen your bottom side waist by drawing your right thigh deeper into your hip socket. Your right armpit a little further forward. And breathe deep. Inhale, come upright with your torso and exhale, bend into your front knee, Viramadrasana 2. Modified side angle pose, put your right forearm on top of your right thigh and reach your left arm either directly up to the sky or left arm over left ear. Press your back heel into the ground and inhale, lengthen your chest forward and again like we just did in triangle, roll your chest open towards the left and up to the sky. As you do this, see if you can roll your right thigh out to the right gently, engaging your right glutes a bit more. Feel your breath. Hands down to the inside of the front foot. Pivot your right foot so it's parallel to your left one. And then walk your hands over towards your left foot. Skandasana, your variation. Hips high or low, I'll leave that to you. Take your left fingers either directly down to the ground or towards the back of your own mat. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Open your chest toward the right. Stay as you are or remove towards binding. Bend your right elbow, right hand behind you by your left hip. Either stay here, left arm wraps around left shin, or those of us who have the hips higher, take your left fingers underneath your left leg. Find right fingertips or wrists behind you. Wherever you are, roll your heart open. Release the bind and then sit your booty down. Left sole of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. Take your right hand to your outer left thigh. Inhale, reach your left fingers up. And then exhale, take your left fingers over towards your right leg, stretching the left side waist. Stay as you are, or we're going to come into the full variation of this pose. You're going to go ahead and bend your left knee, left foot on the ground. Grab a hold of your left ankle with your right hand. Reach your left arm up and over, and you're reaching your left fingers towards your right foot. You may or may not touch. You'll see how it goes. And this is just an option. If this feels like too much, then stay in the first krama, the first option. Wherever you are, deepen your breath. Slowly come upright. Left sole of the foot to the inside of the right thigh. If it's not there already, then take your left hand behind you by your bum. Lift your bum up and reach your right arm overhead. Bring your hips back down. 
Turn and face the front of your mat and reach your left leg to meet your right one. Again, incline plane or tabletop, choice is yours. Knees bent, feet on the ground or legs straight. Bring your big toes to touch. Take your hands behind you by your bum, fingers face forward, and then lift your bum up off the ground. You can look back, look up, or look forward towards your legs. Wherever you are, breathe deep into the front body. Bum comes down to the earth. Dandasana, staff pose, slide your hands by your outer hips, fingers either facing forward or out to the side. You'll see how it goes in your own shoulders. And then shrug your shoulders onto your back, press your heels forward, take a deep breath in, hold the breath in, and then bring your chin halfway towards your chest and retain the breath. When you're ready to exhale, quite simply stay in the shape and exhale. And then slowly release, lift the chin up, bend your knees and make your way onto your back with your knees bent, arms by your sides. Slowly roll your spine down to the earth. Bring your chin in towards your chest and take your time. See if each vertebrae can come down separately. Once the shoulders come down, relax the head, relax the arms down by your sides. Get your ankles underneath your knees for bridge pose, rooting your feet down into the ground. Press your palms into the earth and then inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms up, take your arms overhead and then stay here as you exhale. Inhale, lift your hips up a little bit higher and then exhale, bring your bum and your palms back down to the earth. Press your palms and your feet into the ground. Take a full breath here. Press your heels down, inhale, lift the arms up. Stay here as you exhale. Press the heels down, inhale, lift the hips a little bit higher. And then as you exhale, bring your bum and your palms back down to the ground. Take a full breath here. Pressing your heels down, inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms overhead. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, lift your hips up a bit higher. And then as you exhale, stay as you are. Take another inhale. And then exhale, bring yourself back down to the ground. Root down through your feet, and this time inhale, lift your hips up and take your hands and interlace them underneath you. Shrug your shoulders closer together behind you, broadening the chest, and then root both your heels down on the ground. Imagine your chest, we're going to try to touch your chin, so bring your chest forward. Gently press the back of the head into the ground, feel how that moves the chin away from the chest, creating a deeper C-curve in your neck, and then breathe into this shape. Release your hands and slowly bring yourself back down to the ground. Once you get there, take a couple of breaths in the nose and exhaling it out the mouth. We're going to take another bridge. If you want to take wheel, feel free. If you're coming with me, lift your hips up off the ground. Take your hands and interlace them underneath you. Opposite pinky finger in front and then root your feet down into the ground. Lift your hips. If you're coming into wheel with your hands by your ears, press your palms on the ground. Lift shoulders and head up off the ground. Urdhva Dhanurasana. Whatever variation you're in, root down through your feet and lift your hips up. Breathe deep into your chest.
Next time you exhale, bring yourself back down to the ground. Hug your knees in towards your chest and then slowly roll yourself up to sit. Take your hands out in front of you and go ahead and step back into downward dog. Step your right foot forward in between your hands and then walk your right foot to the left side of your mat. Take both your hands to the outside of your front leg and then step your back foot in about a foot and work towards straightening both your legs. You might want to put blocks underneath your hands or keep your front knee bent. You'll kind of see how it goes. And then with your hands going to the right and towards the back of the mat, press your right big toe mount into the ground. And hopefully what you're feeling is not only a stretch in your right hamstrings, but your outer right hip, outer right thigh. Back heel can be on or off the ground. You can kind of play with that in your own body, but quite simply breathe deep into your right side waist. Breathe deep into your outer right hip. Right hand comes down, seated spinal twist, bend both your knees and step your left knee to the outside of your right foot and then sit your butt down on the ground. Take your right hand behind you and inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky and then exhale, either wrap your left arm around your right leg or elbow to the outside, the knee choice is yours. As you inhale, lengthen the spine and as you exhale, twist your abdomen to the right and towards the back of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale and twist. Inhale, exhale and twist. Stay as you are or look down, grab a hold of the outer part of your right foot with your left hand and then explore extending your right leg out in front of you, a variation of heron. Perhaps right arm goes towards the back of your mat, right palm faces, right wall, thumb is up. Wherever you are, continue lengthening the spine and your right leg may or may not be straight. See how it goes in your own body. And then come on back to center, right foot to the outside of your left leg, and then go ahead and step your left foot back into a lunge. Step your right foot to meet it, down dog. Step your left foot forward in between your hands. We're coming into that twisted variation of Parsvottanasana. Go ahead and walk your left foot over to the right. Step your back foot in about a foot, and then work towards straightening both your legs. Walk your hands gently to the left and towards the back of your mat. Most of the weight's in your feet, not in your hands. And then keep pressing your left big toe mount into the ground and draw your hip back. Stay as you are or bring your left hand to your sacrum, the back of your pelvis, and keep pressing your right fingertips down. You can always put your hand on a block. Lengthen your spine forward and then just quite simply roll your chest open towards the left. Keep pressing your left big toe mount into the ground. Both hands come down, seated spinal twist, bend both your knees, take your right knee to the ground, the outside of your left foot, take your left hand behind you by your bum. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky and either wrap the arm around the leg or elbow to the outside of the knee. As you inhale, lengthen the spine and as you exhale, gently twist your torso towards the left and towards the back of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, gently twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. 
inhale, lift. Exhale and twist. Slowly come back to center. Grab a hold of the outer part of your left foot with your right hand and explore extending your left leg out in front of you. And then reach your left arm towards the back of your mat. Left palm faces, left wall, thumb is up. Lift the chest and twist. And again, if this doesn't work for you, you can always keep your left knee bent and just reach your left arm towards the back of your mat. Come on back to center, meaning bend your left knee, left foot to the ground, the outside of the right foot, and then go ahead and put both your feet on the ground, extend your legs out in front of you, and just give them a little one-two wiggle. Blah, 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 blah. Take the flesh of your butt out behind you, press your heels forward and curl your toes to your shin. And then as you exhale, gently bow forward and down, either hands on either side of your legs, or you can hold on to your feet with your hands. The one thing I'd love you to be mindful of is use your quadriceps and your core muscles to bring you forward and down versus yanking yourself forward using your arm muscles. Try to keep the lower back long and think ribs to thighs versus nose towards knee. Once you find your own variation, go ahead and close your eyes if you can or connect to a gaze point in between your legs and breathe deep into the shape. And slowly walking your palms back up. Find a seat of your choice. And if you'd prefer to lie in Shavasana now, feel free. We're going to take a sway meditation. So if you're coming with me, you're going to gently begin to roll towards your sacrum. And then slowly shift the weight forward and move towards the pubic bone. And then again, begin to round the lower back, moving towards the sacrum. And then again, tilt the pelvis forward, working towards the pubic bone. And you're going to do this at your own pace with your own breath. Just quite simply finding the sweet sway of the pelvis. Allow the movements to be slow. Begin to make the movement slower and slower, smaller and smaller until you find that sweet spot between your pubic bone and your sit bones where you can sit up tall. And breathe into the stillness.
Remain seated for as long as you like, whenever you're ready, Shavasana, corpse pose. If you'd like to remain in Shavasana, feel free. You're coming out with me at your own pace and in your own way. Slowly make your way up to sit. And once you get there, close your eyes and just take a couple of deep breaths. Keep your hands as they are, hands in prayer in front of the heart. May we continue to create, to seek, and to cultivate inspiration. Namaste. If you like that video, you'll probably like these. And if you want more videos, go to my membership site. Either way, let's stay connected.